Highland Hollows Park is wiped clean of Saturday night's deadly shooting. It, uh, but Joel Hodge it's hard. knows trauma isn't so easily erased. Hodge runs Struggle of Love Foundation, a nonprofit dedicated to youth violence prevention. It's just this poison um, and this disease that's going through our community that's lasting and lasting and getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. He says he showed up after the shooting to offer support. Yeah. Some of them are just coming to, hey, I just want to hang out. And then, bam, this happens. Now they're traumatized for the rest of their life. Police say around 9.15 p.m., a party turned into a fight that ended with gunshots. First responders transported three teenage girls with injuries. Police say one died at the hospital. She was 14. It's traumatic for the community, it's traumatic for the kids, and it's also traumatic for us. Jason McBride says this conversation is one he's had too many times. This is a problem. It could be catastrophic for our community, and it, it, it is turning out to be, because we're losing the only natural resources that we have as black people, and that's our young people. He says this won't be the last time he says these words, as long as youth programs and resources go unsupported. Our kids are living in this trauma. And this won't be the last time a family learns to live with permanent consequences of teen violence. The families um, that's being traumatized right now, that's, that, that lost one of their babies, uh, to, to attending a gathering that they should be able to, uh, be able to party peacefully, hang out peacefully. Um, it's disturbing. Aurora police say investigators are looking into several leads on a suspect, but no one is in custody yet. Police say the shooting stemmed from with inside the party, and this was not a random act of violence. In the studio, Janelle Finch, 9 News. Thank you, Janelle. 14 years old. Let's hope the families get some answers soon.